What can you say about this Manchester United team that you haven't already said a number of times this season? We are a terrible, terrible, terrible football team. That is the truth of it. Look, watching United since Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was made Manchester United's permanent manager has been like watching Groundhog Day. Every single day, Bill Murray gets up and he thinks he's seen it all before. But that's because he has seen it all before. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer knows full well that he has got to dismantle this football team. The rebuild of this club is a massive, massive job. It has been. And I think the saving grace, and I've told you this before, the saving grace of the fact that United have been so abysmal in the last 10 games means that Solskjaer goes into the summer and Ed Woodward and the Glazers know that investment has to happen for this rebuild to happen properly. Because, you know, if United's great form had continued the whole way through the season and we made it into the top four, maybe the funds wouldn't have been there for a proper rebuild for Solskjaer. But we have just drawn against Huddersfield, one of the worst teams to ever be in the Premier League. They had scored 20 goals in 36 games. They'd won twice all season at home. Under Jan Sewell, or whatever his name is, their new manager, they hadn't drawn in the last 13 games. Huddersfield were singing, we are going down and we are fucking shit. And they got a draw. Because the keeper booted it, Luke Shaw, a terrible mistake, he misjudged it straight through on goal. And at this moment in time, you wouldn't back David De Gea to save anything. And the one-on-one -on -one went through his legs, one all. And the mad thing is that United were controlling that game. First 15 minutes, it, it almost felt too easy. Scott McTominay scoring a decent effort with his left that the keeper probably should have saved. But Scott McTominay again showing so much more desire to play for this football team than so many senior players who were above him on the pay grade, above him on the quality scale. But just don't give a shit about playing for United anymore. I don't know, I genuinely don't know what to say, other than the fact that we are now out of the top four race. I said it after Chelsea last week that it was done and dusted. But United, thank you, you went and made sure of it by drawing against Huddersfield while Chelsea steamrolled past Watford. At 1-0, United should have gone all guns blazing because... At that point, if we had won that game, which thankfully we didn't, it may have gone down to goal difference. But it's not going down to goal difference. It's going down to nothing because United are just a hollow shell of the champions that Fergie left behind. We've got a couple of nearly dead dogs in Phil Jones and Chris Smalling and Ashley Young that you should put down, but we haven't quite put them down yet. They're getting put down this summer. So many of those players there, Phil Jones, as I said, Ashley Young, both of those have to be straight out the door. Alexis Sanchez has to be out the door. Paul Popper, again, the quality wasn't there today, but the quality around him is so abysmal, I'm not pointing the finger at him too much. I want him to stay and be part of our midfield next season, but Herrera's going to PSG. Matic, I'd rather he got replaced, but I don't think he will be replaced. Just everywhere you look in this team, there's zero inspiration as a fan there's zero inspiration as a player either. And Gary Neville mentioned it in commentary there. It's not only a United inconsistent in between games, being brilliant one game and then abysmal the next inside the game. We were brilliant for 15 minutes and then we were shit. And then we were all right five minutes and then we were terrible again. There's zero consistency at every single point. Anywhere you look, it's hard to know what to expect. Oh, actually, no, it's not, is it? Because how many games have we lost now? What is that? Five or six in a row? Seven in a row? Eight in a row? I don't know how many in a row. Away games that we've gone without winning. And it's all come since Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was made United's permanent manager. And I said it at the time. It was an unnecessary thing for United to do because the boat didn't need to be rocked. It was all too obvious that Solskjaer was going to be made the manager in the summer. But since the players have found out, so many of them have got comfortable again. Sat back in their lazy boy armchair, click, kicked up the recliner, grabbed a beer, sat back and watched Game of Thrones. They've just been relaxing. But so many of them are getting the chop. They really, really need to. I mean, the, the utter disease that seems to be going through United's football club right from the bottom up. It has to be ripped out root and stem and we know that but in the, it can't possibly be 
completely got rid of until we get rid of the glazers and it would and that's not going to happen so all of this rebuild has to happen while the virus still controls united that's going to be hard and it certainly can't happen in one summer how far behind liverpool and city are we now what 25 27 28 points i don't know how many points but today wasn't a game that was going to really change my opinion of united have we beaten huddersfield 4 5 nil you should be beating Huddersfield 4-5-0. Look, they're bottom of the league. They're terrible. But we drew again. And now the top four is completely gone. Solskjaer would have been drumming that into his players. Go out there, win the game. We're still in the hunt for the top four. Instead, we were shit. Two more points dropped. United draw. Top four gone. And just the, the sheer scale of this rebuild has to be obvious now to everybody, even those with their head in the sand. And that's Ed Woodward, and that's the Glazers. United are so far behind Liverpool and City that one summer cannot solve it. But one summer can do a hell of a lot to steer this club in the right direction. And so many of those players and so many of those attitudes have to be ripped up, tossed aside and replaced and replenished because United are so far behind where we need to be that I fear for how far we can get in one summer. But it certainly can't really get any worse than drawing against Huddersfield. Let me know what you think about the game in the comments below. Not unexpected, not too surprising, but just another affirmation of how terrible this United team really, really is.